It's Madden NFL 20. On to get us started now, the kicker, Chris Boswell. And off we go from Soldier Field. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. So here are the Bears now for their opening drive. And they will be led out by a guy certainly still trying to prove himself here in the league, the young rookie quarterback. For every rookie prospect, there are always nerves involved in this moment, running your team out to start a game. But there's a reason they brought him in. We're willing to make him their starter today. They believe he can overcome those nerves and lead his team to a victory. We saw him do it at the collegiate level and really make himself into a leader and someone you can envision doing the exact same thing here in the NFL. First carry for DeAndre Swift. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. Well, that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. 4C in completion on first down. Then you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure going at the quarterback in an expected passing situation. On third down, Williams. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And they've got it well across midfield down to the 40 before it's all said and done. Well, that's how you convert on third down with an explosive gain of 34. We expected this defense to be tested by this passing game coming into this one. And there's an example on this first possession of the game. So the big play moves him all the way across midfield to the 40 now for first and 10. Back to throw. Williams. A quick throw there is incomplete. How about that? Red man coverage and decided to test them early. But they proved up to the task and forced the incompletion. Here's second and 10. Swift going to try up the middle. They'll wind up getting four down to the 36. They'll need to get it to the 30 for a first. This is third down. Looking to throw. Williams work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. It's a seven-yard gain and good enough to move the chains. Solid opening drive so far, Charles. They've moved this football into field goal range, but you know that they want to cap this off with six and not three. Absolutely. As one of the better coaches in the league always tells me, on offense, I want to throw body blows all game long and finish it with uppercuts. Well, here are the body blows right now. He's hoping in one uppercut will take care of the end of this drive. On the tackle that time, Dean Lowry. Not a huge carry there on first down, but not all of them will be. But still, all in all, a positive play for the offense. It's all about picking up at least a few to set up what you're going to do here on second down. Now Williams to throw on second down. To the sideline, and wow, what a catch. Doesn't get a lot out of it, but he is able to keep the feet in bounds. So just three yards on the completion there, and it's third and four now. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. From the gun on third down, Williams. That is caught, and they are able to stop him, but he does take it all the way to the two. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Uh, that's a big conversion there on third down, and this has been a great opening drive. You know, at this point, they'd hate to settle for three, but they've created a fresh set of downs and a first and goal. A terrific opening drive has them knocking on the door, first and goal. Swift. 
will score. Touchdown, Chicago. Like what we saw right there, good running down near the goal line because that was a really good drive. They were able to possess the ball, have some early success moving it downfield, and then clearly the most important thing, finishing things off with the ball in the end zone. Cairo Santos on to try the extra point. Now these are not going to be easy on a cold, snowy night, but this one is up and through. A 10-play drive that time, and it's culminated by a two-yard touchdown run. After the touchdown, here's the punter Trenton Gill to kick it away. And he had no room to run as he's tackled down inside the 20. So the Steelers offense getting set for their first drive. And they'll be led out by a man who nearly broke the single season rushing record for quarterbacks last season. A true dual threat out of Ohio State, Justin Fields. And not only does he have all the skills that you're looking for as a quarterback, he's incredibly tough and plays the game fearlessly as both a runner and a passer. You provide a good running game around him and let him throw deep off of play action, you've got an all-star in the making. And he slides and covers up at the end as he's going to be able to pick up decent yardage. The improv on the scramble there gets him six, and it'll be second down. You know what I like about that play? He didn't try to do too much on first down. He took what the defense gave him, put together a solid game to bring up second and manageable. Now they have a couple of plays to pick up just a few yards and a new set of downs. One play action, Fields. He's got this to Pickens. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. That one covers 29 yards, first down. A great job pulling that one in from a guy, as we know, who can really blaze. He's got a lot of speed. And that speed can work for him so many different ways. Sometimes he just takes off and goes and just runs past people. Sometimes you get people to back off so far that you can catch everything underneath. But still, at some point in the game, you probably have to make some contested catches, right? Sometimes you have to go up and beat a defender for the football. He has that in his arsenal as well. Showed it right there. They'll give him four yards there, and it'll be second down. They gave up the completion there, but this is what zone defenses count on, catching the ball and not much run after the catch. Now a second and six. Now it's Fields. And his throw is going to be incomplete. George Pickens, his intended receiver there, and it's third down. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. To the air again, Fields. Throw left side, hauled in by Pickens. And he will have a Steelers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Plenty of things to talk about here, partner, but to me, their defense gave up a touchdown on the first drive. How about how they're responding, coming back? That's a big third down pickup to keep their drive alive. They'll fake the handoff, now Fields. And his throw is incomplete. That their backs up against the wall a little bit, and they come through by forcing an incompletion. Now they've got to continue to ratchet up the intensity a couple more times and get off the field before giving up any more yardage. Now a second and ten.
And he'll run for the first time with Najee Harris. And a solid run down inside the 30. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. But this play sequence was really kind of called in reverse. Incomplete pass on first and ten. Nice run on second and ten when probably everyone was expecting them to throw the football. Now, if you're the defense, what are they going to do on third down? You're a little off balance. Fields on third down. And he will not be able to hang on to the contact. It's incomplete. The coverage strong, and now it's fourth down. That's what you're going to need to do against those big receivers. you got to get in there and get physical with them. That time he got in close, got in tight, and knocked the ball away. Well, the field goal obviously a little dicier here with the elements in the snow, but still right on the border of field goal range. But they're going to go for it. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he is going to have the Steelers first down as they'll wind up getting seven there on fourth and three. They're able to keep the drive alive seven yards that time, and the decision to go for it proves to be a good one. So after the fourth down conversion, now first and ten inside the 25. Here's Fields. Pickens on the slam. And they'll get this down to the 10. The pickup goes for 13 and sets him up first and goal. Well, no question, this is exactly how they wanted to start this football game. And nice pass there. And now they're set up beautifully, Charles, to finish this off with a touchdown. Yeah, but they've still got to finish it off, partner. And that means they've got to execute at this stage of the field. So we've seen many teams march it right to the goal line and not cash in. They got something dialed up here that puts it in the end zone. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. Nice job there forcing that incompletion. This is going to be a fun battle throughout this game, watching them try to take away that area of the field. They'll go again here from the 10-yard line on second and goal. Field throwing again. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. Man coverage is certainly a staple of their defense. It's built for plays like that forcing that incompletion. And now third and goal following incompletions on first and second down. Here's Fields. And he will not make it back to the line of scrimmage as he's going to be taken down. Montez Sweat able to get him down behind the line of scrimmage, and it will be fourth down. After one, 7 0 on EA Sports. Steeler football here to begin quarter number two, as they've got it with a fourth down coming up. Boswell's kick is good, and they are on the board, but still trailing. It's 7-3. So both teams come away with points on their opening drives. Now, they still trail. They answered the touchdown with a field goal, but at least able to break that goose egg here early. And that is what's important, right? Because they didn't let that initial touchdown go unanswered. Took the ball themselves, moved it downfield, and put it through the post for three points. Game on. After the successful field goal try, here's Boswell to send it away. And he returns this to the 22. Chicago works their way back onto the field here for their second drive of the game. A long drive last time out for this offense, Charles. If you remember, they started basically in the shadows of their own end zone, marched it down the field, and a lot of that was through the passing game. And, partner, as a former defensive back, I'm having almost a physical reaction watching what's happening right now. But let's give credit where it's due because they've done an excellent job moving the ball through the air. Secondary getting picked apart pass by pass. Obviously, they need to make some adjustments there on the back end. And because offensively, we know that they're not going to be shy about throwing that football still a few inches short of a first down as they come up now on second down off the play fake Williams to the right side and he's got more complete 
And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. Mark that down as a pickup of 13, and the Bears have the first. Second and short, that's a rundown, so it's definitely a good time to go play action if you're feeling it. And they do so and pick up a first down. From the gun, here's Swift. Dances by him. And this will be a Bears first down as the tackle made it about the 43-yard line. I actually love the run right there. This guy's known for his quickness, but also for his speed. And he's able to get to the second level almost before you blink if you give him any type of blocking. Always talk about slot receivers, and they're usually known as quicker than fast. In this case, we've got a guy who's quick and fast, and he used it to great advantage. First down, and they go with Swift again. And he edges forward, but only gets a pair of yards out of it, and it's second down. He did have the touchdown run earlier, but not a heck of a lot more than that throughout this game. No, not at all. In fact, I would say that this defense has done as good of a job on him as they have on any runner in recent memory. Second down and eight. Back to throw. Williams throwing middle, but it's incomplete. Those are the ones you dream of as defenders. I think if he gets eyes on the ball a little bit earlier, he might come away with it. Instead, it's going to wind up as just an incomplete pass. The line to gain is the 33 on third down. Looking to throw, Williams. is going to be incomplete. Now we're going to get a stoppage. Appears to be an injured bear on the field. While they come out and take a look at him, we will step aside for just a moment. Now we get to see the punter, Corliss Waitman. The back deep for the Steelers is Calvin Austin. And now where will the side judge stop his walk? That's the question. He says it crossed out of bounds at about the 17-yard line. So Pittsburgh retakes the field for their second offensive possession. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember, they did put points on yeah, the board. Three points and, is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. So second and four from the 22. Now Fields. Taken down, a bear sack. It's Jervon Dexter who got in to drop him. And we all know how talented this guy is who's calling the signals for him, but even the best in the game, they can struggle against a good, cohesive zone coverage. Can't find a gap in the secondary quick enough, and he ends up taking a sack. Throwing on third down, Fields. The escapability in evidence there is that one good for 15 and a first. After the sack, you could understand it maybe be a little bit nervous back there, a little skittish, but looked awfully decisive when he took off and ran. Very decisive and picked up that first down in the process. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Harris running straight ahead. And he'll be limited to a short gain up to about the 34-yard line. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack, holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left him no space to try and run. Really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. Looking to throw on second down, Fields. This throw incomplete, nearly picked off. And with his pedigree, he doesn't drop many of those. But third down coming up. 
Well, I like the calmness of how he played the ball here. No panic in his eyes as that throw arrived. Tracked it from the moment it left the quarterback's hand, and that's just where he needed to be to knock it away. Back to throw. Fields. Able to... Fields hit, and the ball is loose. And this is picked up by the Bears. And they will set up shop in enemy territory at the 42-yard line. So he went out of the pocket left, and then things got dicey. And what often happens is when they get outside, they want to keep their eyes downfield in order to try and complete a pass. But when they try to make a play, they've got to get their footwork involved, and that can really mess them up as well. And in this case, nothing went right, and the ball got knocked free. Four minutes to play here in quarter number two. They will run straight ahead with Swift. He'll work his way up the middle for a gain of about four, second down. Well, on every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown, so a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game, trying to establish the inside run, run with toughness now, hopefully get to the perimeter later, and let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. Moore, the man in motion. Right back to Swift again on second down. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. It'll be a loss of a full three yards there, and it also brings up third down. Sometimes I forget how much information he has to go through before the ball's even snapped, but what a diagnosis right there. Saw the play, shot through the gap like a rocket, and ends up spilling it for a loss. Williams now on third down. He's got his target. That's complete. And he will have the Bears first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. But normally, you see three tight ends in a formation. You have to think to yourself, this has got to be a run. And I know as a safety, when I saw that, I took an extra step or two towards the line of scrimmage. Instead, they threw the ball, and he found one of those tight ends for a very nice pickup. Two minutes to play in this first half. 7-3, our score. A reminder, coming up at halftime, while the two of us head for warmer areas of the press box, we'll be sending you to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman will have highlights and analysis of this first half. And that's out to the flat for Swift. So the completion good for six yards, and it'll be second down. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. Williams looking to throw on second down. And his throw here is incomplete. Keenan Allen, the intended target, and it's third and four. Back to throw again. Pass taken in by Komet. And the Bears are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. And in a lot of ways, that catch is expected. Red zone presence, and that one was realized there. You've got to find your tight end in that situation. Now the Bears are going to call the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. They'll let the fullback try and take him home. And he takes this one in for a Bears touchdown. Corey Blassen game taking it in from two yards out. And the Bears will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. Partner, to me, that touchdown had something that was kind of rooted in that group seeing the future. What I mean by that is they had a plan. Let's find a way to score right here before the half. And that'll give us momentum going into the second half. Give us that cushion that we're looking for. 
they got that accomplished, scoring right before the half ended. After the touchdown, here's the punter, Trenton Gill, to kick it away. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. The Steelers taking over now late in this first half. Well, not much time remains here in this first half. We'll see if they can get something out of this drive, at least a field goal. They could certainly use it down by two scores. That's caught. He gets it out to Austin. Now the Steelers use the first of their three timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. Here's second and ten. To throw his fields. And he'll protect himself at the end here as he winds up getting pretty decent yardage. The Steelers signal for the second of their timeouts as it'll come with 36 ticks to go in half number one. Here's third and three. Out of the gun, Fields. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Now the Steelers are going to use their third and final timeout. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Fields now to throw. That's complete to his tight end, Fryermuth. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. So even though it's first down, here's the field goal unit on now to try to get three before halftime. And that's off the right upright, and it bounces away no good. So we come upon halftime here at Soldier Field with the Bears out in front. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. Back to you guys in a bit. But first, we welcome everyone to our EA Sports Halftime Report. We watched a solid performance out of running back DeAndre Swift. He had a touchdown run that helped get his guys this halftime lead. Okay, Coach, thanks as always to you and the gang in Orlando as we welcome everyone back in for quarter number three. The lake effect snow set to continue for the second half of action as we are back underway. Cordero Patterson to return it, bringing it out of the end zone. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much as he's marked out officially at the 21. Now the Steeler offense ready to get going to begin this third quarter. On well, the first half, they struggled a little bit to keep pace offensively, CD, down two scores here. So how do they make some changes coming out of the locker room? Well, they've studied what they did in the first half. They've seen what the defense is thrown at them. Now they want to have a plan of attack against it. So you come out, you're not going to get all the points back on one drive. But get started on it. Start chopping into that lead, and maybe it'll inspire your defense to help out as well. 
Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. Fields. Completes it to Austin. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. Doesn't matter whether it's a zone coverage or man coverage. The drag route can be effective when it's run well. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Patterson on the draw. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. It may be only a gain of three yards, but that back, he deserves a lot more credit on the play. That could have easily been stopped at the line, but his vision and his determination found some space to turn it into that modest gain. Ball on the 36 now. Here's a second and seven. On the give, this is Harris. And this is going to be a Steelers first down as he's got this up to the 45-yard line. Now that's the way to do it. Hand it to someone with vision and good footwork and handling a little bit of power, and you find a way to pick up first downs. So after two first downs, they get another here. First and 10 at the 45. Back to throw. Fields. His throw incomplete. Certainly looked like someone was very confident in his ability to fit that one in. I would say he was overconfident because there wasn't a whole lot of separation there. Had that one covered pretty well downfield and knocked it away. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. A shotgun snap, Fields. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Andrew Billings, the defensive tackle, getting in there for a loss of five. I'd say it's not panic time yet, but let's be honest about it. Empty possession here, not what you're looking for when you're down a couple of scores. Absolutely not. Trying to start the second half off on the right foot. Unfortunately, going to give the ball up. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Throw out right, taken in by Patterson. And he gets this to the 48, but no further. Well short of the line to gain. That'll bring up fourth down. They wind up getting eight yards, but they needed more than that. I wonder what was going through his mind when he got the play call. He just got sacked on the previous play. He knows they're coming after him again. A little bit of guts to stand in there, take the hit, and successfully complete the screen pass. Really well done. And they won't risk defending a return here. That one's out of bounds, and it'll be spotted spotted at the 14-yard line. So here are the Bears now as they get set for their first possession of the second half. Here's Williams on first down. Looking sideline incomplete. Just nowhere to go with the football. He was forced to put that one into Lake Michigan. I think his receivers have to do a better job of working free because he didn't have anywhere to go at all on that play. So they'll come up after the incompletion for second down. Looking to throw. Williams. Oh, he'll want that one back. Incomplete. He doesn't drop too many in that department. Third down. Well, he'll definitely say that that's one he should have held on to. But when you're playing in elements like this, sometimes those bullet passes, those ones with a little bit of pace on them, they can be difficult to hold on to. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Operating from the gun, Williams. And now another one thrown incomplete. Nice call by the defense there on third down. Just flood the field with extra defensive backs in their dime package. Nowhere to go with the football forces the incompletion. Here comes the Bears punter now as he'll kick it away for the second time. Now a fair catch signaled for and made right about the 43-yard line. They call that a punt of 38 yards officially. And the Steelers will go on offense here first and 10. And Pittsburgh getting set to take the field. 
And Charles, they're certainly still right in this game, but they need that offense to wake up and in a hurry. Yeah, I like the way you put it. They certainly did seem to sleepwalk a bit in the first half. Now that their defense has done its job, it's their turn now to go out and try and get some points. Nice way to start the drive, a gain of 12 and a first down. That was a nicely run slant route, and what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps and cuts towards the middle of the field. And now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and give the quarterback a really nice target. And down to the 41. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. Here's Fields now on second down. Forced out to his left. And he gets it down to the 32. Fields, we know he has the good mobility. He flashes it there as he scrambles for the first down. At least this time he's getting hit after a positive play for his offense. The pressure was coming through yet again, but he certainly didn't stick around for the sack on this occasion. Found an escape route and ended up getting the first down before taking the hit. Now a first down carry for Harris. Stopped on the play by Jaquan Brisker. And that's exactly what you want on a first down run. Pick up five yards, bring up second and five. The defensive line, though, they've got to figure out a way to out leverage the guys up front because the offensive line is winning at the point of attack. Ball on the 27. Here's second down and five. Now it's Fields. And down inside the 15 he goes. Opted to run for it. The decision, a good one. Picking up the first, getting 14 yards on the scramble. He's been making himself a weapon as a runner, and the results, they've been welcomed by his offense. My question is about the defense we're watching right now, partner. Even after he got him with a scramble earlier this drive, they still aren't devoting enough attention to him. I would expect that after that carry, they'll do a much better job going forward, spying on him on passing downs. And he's going to take it in for a Steeler touchdown. Justin Fields, a 13-yard touchdown run. And the Steelers have cut it back within a score. Hey, you're down on the scoreboard, but now your offense is in close, and this is where, as a quarterback, you say, I've got to make a play here. Doesn't matter whether it's a pinpoint throw or a scramble like this one. He takes matters into his own hands and delivers a touchdown run. Fields trying to throw for it. And now the pressure gets there, and he goes down. So he couldn't get rid of the football, and that deficit stays right where it is. Boswell now to kick it away after the touchdown. Scott on the return, out of the end zone. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Cost him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. The Chicago offense set to get started. Obviously not the intended goal last drive. They had to punt the football, but still they've got the lead here and now a chance to add on to that lead if they can get points on this drive. First and 10 upcoming. Williams throw complete here to commit. Now this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Now that's staying ahead of the chains. Really good pickup on first down, hitting the tight end there. Now it brings up a second and manageable. Just found a hole in that zone. Man, I just love being in this stadium. So much history, tradition, so many great teams and games. And well, we're seeing a pretty good one right now. Hotly contested in the third quarter. And this will be a Bears first down as the tackle made here at the 36. 
Second and one, and people want to run the football. This is where every back in the league is supposed to do exactly what we just saw there. Pick up the first down. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Operating from the gun, Williams. And that'll be off the mark, too far out in front, and it's incomplete. Just a little beyond the reach there of his receiver. That's probably one he wishes he had back. He wishes it had been seven on seven in practice, or maybe even routes versus air, because that's a completion he makes, what, 9.9 .9 times out of 10? Just missed that one. On the option to give to Swift here. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. A Chicago first down there on a gain of 11. I think we're seeing the effect that runs like that are starting to have on this game. They're a little bit slower, that front seven reacting to the football, almost like body blows in boxing. Slowing them down, and they're really starting to take over in this game. One quarter remains here on a Sunday night. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now at Soldier Field. A couple of first downs on the drive already as they'll go from the 47 now on first down. Back to throw. Williams finding more on the out route for the completion. From just across the midfield stripe, here's second and six. A handoff, Swift running to the left. And he'll get this pretty close to a first down as he's tackled at the Steelers' 43-yard line. 59 yards rushing for him now to this point. This drive is turning into an extended one, and, and the guy carrying the ball, he's becoming more like a body blows guy. Every carry is putting some damage on the defense. So after a while, I'm not too sure how many guys are going to want to run up and tackle him. They'll try and run here with Swift. And not only will he not get the few inches he needs, he's going to go backwards. That winds up being a four-yard loss and leads to fourth down. Sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness, he's the whole package. And that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss. Here comes the Bears punter now, as he'll come on to kick this one away. And no return possible here as they angle this one out of bounds. Pittsburgh's offense now heading back out onto the field. On first and ten, here's Fields. He'll get this into the hands of Van Jefferson. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch, and it's second down. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. They're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. It'll be a loss of only a couple on the sack, but now it'll bring up third down. And this dominant defensive performance continued on that play. This poor quarterback has not received the protection he needs and has had to pick himself up off the turf far too often. Here's Fields. That is caught. And he will have a Steelers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. They bring pressure there on third down, but this is a nice job of picking it up and making sure their guy has time to deliver the football. And they wind up getting the first down. And they'll send Pickens in motion right here. Now they fake the jet sweep there and a run instead with Harris. And he'll fight forward on the straight-ahead running for just a couple of yards, second down. Defensively, we always know that he is tough in run support, and I think the way that he gets there is he understands what an offense is going to do before the ball's even snapped. A great job of scouting prior to the game, 
then reading, reacting, and taking the right path to the ball carrier. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. He was out there waving his arms, saying, throw it here, dropped it, not a good look. Well, all I can do is just look at him with contempt on that one. As a defensive back, I'm saying, not as an announcer. <laughs> just like, really? A little bit of a diva look, isn't it? Yeah, very much so, because I think what happens is he just had too much time to think. He's wide open now. Here comes the ball, and he doesn't concentrate and drops it. This one left side caught by Patterson. And a pretty nice tackle there, ranging up from his free safety spot as he'll stop him about a yard short. So the completion good for seven there. And that'll bring up fourth down. We can make this one pretty simple. Walked up all of his progressions downfield, forced to get it to his running back. But how about the way they ran to the football and knocked him down to force a fourth down? On is the punter, Johnston now, as he sends this one away. A 41-yard punt there with no return. And out will come the offense as they take over. And now Chicago getting ready to go as they take the field. They're holding on right now to that slim advantage in a one-score game. And you hear a lot about two-minute offense and four-minute offense. Obviously, the four-minute offense applies here. How do they run that effectively? Yeah, really what the four-minute offense is is you're just trying to grind the clock. So you want consistent gains, steady gains. Doesn't have to be big plays, but it has to be plays that gets first downs and keeps the ball away from your opponent. But certainly throwing the ball is in the mix here. It certainly is. Just make sure that you're careful with it. And again, get those first downs, keep possession of the football. Right back to Swift again on second down. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. Here we go, third and one. Gut check time on both sides. Looking to throw, Williams. And there's a short throw, it's caught by Komet. And he will have the Bears first down by a couple of yards as they're able to convert there on third and one. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to, pick up a first down. On first and 10, it's Swift. They juked him, and this will be a Bears first down as he's able to get this up past the 40. It carries like that. That's how they're going to continue to salt this thing away here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. Yeah, how about that? A new set of downs. Clock continues to move. No better way to close out a game than to tap those mastodons you have up front and say, guys, keep pounding them. Let's keep the ball, keep their offense on the sidelines, and let's close this one out. And not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. They'll stay on the ground with Swift. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. Second and five. They'll run right here with Swift. And he's dropped just before the line to gain. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. Off play action, Williams. And that's to the left sideline and incomplete. Not only did he have a chance to scan the field there, it felt like he had a chance to scan it twice. The protection was that good. Unfortunately for him, the coverage downfield, equally good. Here comes the Bears punter now, as he's on to punt for the fourth time tonight. Now Austin, 35 yards that time on the punt, and they will take over first and 10. So now the Steelers 
Down by five. A minute 38 to go. Needing to go pretty much the length of the football field as they have it first and ten. Now Fields. That's to Fryermuth. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and watch them drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there, not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed, too. All eyes on Fields. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. Well, these corners, I tell you, they've done excellent work all game long. They remind me of guys in the past who just said, hey, throw it out here 100 times. Nothing good is going to happen. And if you throw it in the wrong place, I'll take it the other way. Another try, second and 10 now. Back to throw, Fields. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Two-minute drills, they're tough enough, pressure-packed enough, and these elements makes it significantly tougher. And you don't have the margin where you can say, okay, I can allow for certain things and maybe change up a little bit. Because it's a two-minute situation, you've got to try and make the same plays you would make if the elements didn't exist. Here's Fields. Able to find Patterson. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. It didn't check off every box, but the most important one. Got the clock stopped, getting out of bounds. It may be a little short of the first down, but I thought that was the key. Here we go. This is fourth down. They snap it to Fields. And he's brought down. Can't do anything with the football. It's a sack and a turnover on down. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And the Bears are going to get the football back, and they're going to get it in great field position. The Bears offense now getting ready to take over. And this one all over but the shouting, you might say. Now, there's one timeout remaining defensively, but probably no real need to use it here. Yeah, the only time they would use it, strictly for pride. Now the Steelers going to use their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with 55 seconds remaining in the football game. The win for the Bears just around the corner. They go down to a knee. Down to a knee one more time, and that should just about do it. So this one in the win column for the Chicago Bears. And it was a bit of a strange game. They were held scoreless through the entire second half. But their first half output, that's enough to carry them to victory. And that's an odd game to watch, isn't it? Because when we saw the output in the first half, you think to yourself, okay, they've got something working here. They know what they're doing. They'll continue that along. But instead, it's goose eggs in the second half. Fortunately, enough of a cushion and enough defense to carry them home. So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hardworking men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gaunt. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports. The Bears get the win at home as we say so long from Soldier Field.